How to fix the feedback required Instagram error on your iPhone. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from How to Geek. In today's guide video, I will simply show you the way on how you can fix if Instagram app says feedback required error. But before we get started with the video, if you are new to our channel, do make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. And without any further ado or delay, let's get started with today's video. Now before we try to fix this issue, we have to understand why this happens in the first place. The feedback required Instagram error usually comes with the error message that says feedback required or sorry we couldn't complete your request and so on or it also says please try again in a moment. This error happens because your Instagram account has actually been flagged as a robot or the server is actually overloaded. So there could be two likely reasons. One is because Instagram has noticed a spammy robot-like behavior from your account which means that you were following too many people, you were liking too many posts, you were posting too many comments or anything as such. The other could be the issue with the Instagram service themselves and there's nothing really you could do about that. So in order to fix the prior issue, let's say that your particular IP address has been blocked from accessing your account. Well in that case, you can simply turn off your Wi-Fi and try to switch to cellular data in order to fix the issue. Because most of the time this would definitely get your job done. We're any change your cellular connection from Wi-Fi to data is also going to change the IP address and Instagram could give you access back into your account. And if you're using cellular data, I want you to do the vice versa which means that you also want to try switching back to your Wi-Fi. The other thing you can do is you can open Safari or any of the browser you have. You can go to Instagram.com and try to log in from there as well. The other thing you can try to do is you can try to offload the application if you're on iPhone. So what I would recommend you do is go ahead and open settings. Once you open settings, go to the option called general. As you go to general, select the option called iPhone storage. On the list of iPhone storage apps, you have to simply look for Instagram. This will give you a brief idea as to what kind of apps are occupying how many spaces. So just go ahead and look for the Instagram app over here and what you want to do is tap in this blue button that says offload. Once you tap on it at the bottom again you'll find the confirmation. Just tap on the offload button, reinstall the application. Don't worry your data is not going to get deleted. You will not be logged out of your account. All it is going to do is refresh and offload the application. If this doesn't help solve your problem, the other reason could also be likely the problems with the Instagram servers. In order to verify that we will open up our browser. And in the search box, we will simply search for a keyword that states is Instagram down. So when we go ahead and type in is Instagram down, there will be lots of search results. As you can see, I will search for this particular keyword and I'll tap on the go button. Now in my personal favorite is a downdetector.com which will give you a brief idea as to whether or not the servers are down. So if I go to the first search result over here and right over here, if you see a certain spike in the number of reports, which means that aside from you, other users have also reported an outrage in the Instagram app, which means that Instagram is definitely facing one of the errors. And in order to fix that, you have to simply make sure to update the Instagram app always to the latest version because when you open up your app store and in the search box you type in Instagram and if you see an update button there most likely it means that Instagram has definitely fixed the issue and has updated it when you update the app it is going to get rid of all of the bugs and errors that existed in the previous versions of the application and hopefully one of these solutions may have definitely worked for you if it did work for you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you've got any more questions queries or doubts simply also make sure to leave them down Thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video.